guys, this is Lex with Thrifty HodgePodge. Today we're going to be doing the June budget for 2018. And instead of doing the washi on camera today, I'm going to do it off camera and come back to save time so we can get started. See you in just a second. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the washi on. I did use this thin little washi here. And this thicker one to go across. So let's zoom in and do the numbers. So my mortgage is going to be the same. It's going to be four ninety four eighty seven. The co op is thirty. Car insurance is sixty two ninety eight. The Wi Fi is eighty nine dollars and sixty nine cents. A cell phone is going to be forty three eighty. Gym is $29.99. Netflix is going to be $10.99. Hulu, $7.99. Fuel, due to the, the rising fuel costs, I think I'm going to try and keep it at $150. It might go over, but we'll try for $150. Uh, I do have two new categories here. I have one for my mom just because she threw me off last time when I was down there and I didn't realize she needed stuff. She has asked for a few more things that she doesn't have. So I'm going to try and uh, do a $25 a month limit there for her for stuff that she needs. Uh, this last time she wanted tweezers and she wanted some new nightgowns. So $25. I've also got an online category. Um, I'm finding that there's stuff that I need to buy on Amazon or other, you know, things like I need to order checks through an online check service and um, just things that I need to pay online that don't really fit in these categories, especially when I'm doing my grocery, household, and other as a cash envelope system. Um, so I've decided to do online um, for any shopping that I need to do there. I'm going to limit myself $50 online. There's like some uh, refrigerator, water filters that I need to buy, stuff like that. So I'm going to put $50 there. Uh, credit card one and two. I'm just going to briefly touch on this. Um, I'm not really paying any more than the minimum payment on this right now because I'm trying to save up for a sinking fund. It's kind of, it, to me, it's kind of an emergency. Um, I have a tub at the other house, has cracks in it, it's leaking. The kids that are living there have fixed it the best they can. Um, it shouldn't be leaking, but the faster we can get it um, fixed, the faster I can go back to paying off this debt. So I want to get it done, and I want to get it done now. Right now I have $788.67 to go towards that fund. Uh, the fund right now is $4,100. Um, and that's just to get the tub fixed. Um, that's not including the other thousand I plan on saving to actually update the bathroom ourselves. So there's that. So credit card one, last month's minimum payment was $156.91, but I ended up paying $165. I'm just going to put it at $157. I'm going to try and stick to my guns there and not pay extra, which kills me. Um, credit card two, it went down a couple dollars. Uh, let's see, what was it last month? I think it was three fifteen last month, so that's what we're going to keep it this month. Now my grocery household other um, GHO, my Go Fund, I'm going to put eight hundred dollars into that for the month, and that's including pet food, everything down to makeup everything. Food, anything you can buy at a grocery store or walk into the store and purchase and pay cash for, there you go. So $800 there. Ooh, I almost forgot. I'll put it, uh, I'll add it here. Uh, I almost forgot that too. Um, in June, my car tags are due, so I need to add that there as well. So we'll just put a little spot down here. We'll put car tags. Time to pay for the taxes. Thanks, government. Appreciate it. Although I shouldn't complain. They're not that bad. I honestly don't know what they are. I think they're like, I want to say they're like 48 bucks. I don't know. 
I'm gonna say 48 it's probably what it is because I have an old car I mean my car's 2005 Toyota Matrix it's got over 200,000 miles on it I love my car love my car so I think what I'll do is uh, it shouldn't be any more than that I'm tempted to put 50 but I'm scared I could be totally off and I hate that I want to budget as close as possible so yeah I don't know maybe I'll do for the car tags 60 to be on the conservative safe side and then if I don't spend it great but that way at least I budgeted out the money so that way I don't look like a buffoon at the end of the month like I normally do Sorry, I was hoping to get all the washi down so you guys didn't have to see this part. Today, I'm using my palette knife in case you're wondering what I use. Usually, I use my eye slice, but I just, I don't know. Today, I was feeling like palette knife, so that's what I'm going with. So, I still had to do washi, sorry. Alright, so. Got our car tags, although it looks funny. Didn't look like car tags. Anyway, so I was talking about car tags. Um, I think I'm going to be conservative and put down $60 here. I really don't think it'll be that much, but I want to be on the safe side. Safe rather than sorry. Um, so for my income, I make, all together, it's $32.02. So, $32.02. So that's my income, and that's including the money I get from my other house and here. Well, not here, but my job here. Um, let's see, let's see what our damage is gonna be this month. All the damage. Which ones are gonna be this? I like the orange ones. We're thinking blue, orange. I just have these, I don't know where they're from. I think they're just like a little label thing. I think I'm just gonna steal them and use them, so. <laughs> I think I'll do. Although that blue is up along and fit better. Yeah, let's use the blue. A little pop of color. It won't hurt nothing. So I'm being lazy today. Help if I could lay down a sticker straight. enough. Just so you can see what I did, I just added some stickers that I could write on and put some totals on. That's all I did. This one's awful crooked and they're not wanting to stick very well, but at least not want not. All right, so let's get back to this. Oh. Okay, let's get some totals going on here. Make sure you can see it without glare from that light. And that'll have to do. Okay, so 494.87 plus 30 plus 62.98 plus 89.69 plus 43.80 plus 29.99 Adding 1099, 799, 150, 25 plus 50. Make sure my math is right. 30, 89, 80, 99, 79. Okay. Total should be 995.31. So that's what we're going with. 995.31. 30. Okay, so that was 995.31. Okay. So let's move on to what we're going to be spending on the credit cards, which kills me because it's not very much. 157 plus 315 is what we expect. So 472. So $472 there. I'm going to do $800 for the cash envelopes. Even though technically there's only going to be four weeks for me for, what is it, June? Am I figuring that up right? Oops. Okay. 
paid myself on the 27th. Today is the 30th. I'm going ahead and filming this today due to the fact that I have paid all my bills, I'm not spending more money, and I got paid today. So, 27th through the 2nd of June. So I've already paid that week. So that means the next Sunday is going to be the 3rd, the 10th, the 7th, 17th, and the 24th is when I'm going to pay. So I only have four weeks to pay myself $800. So I could technically go up to $200 a week if I want. My goal is to stay at the 160 mark and see if I can still make it work. I should be able to. I was able to do 160 each week this month. And that is good points, bad points. I'll talk about it in a later video, but just so you know what's going on. All right. And then the car tags. Lovely, lovely car tags. Expecting $60. Okay, so there's my totals. Let's figure them up all together. I don't know why I keep putting my calculator up like, I'm done. No, you're not. Imbecile. All right, so 995.31 plus 472 plus 800 plus 60 means I have a grand total of do, 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 me a little fanfare don't I two thousand three hundred twenty seven dollars and thirty one cents is what I'm expecting to pay to stay within my budget so take that thirty two 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 minus sorry the $2,327.31 means I have $874.71 that I should be able to save next month. That's the goal. That's the plan. And then that's going to go to my sinking fund. So it's probably going to take me five months to get it all saved up, but that's okay. What else was I going to put down here? I made all these little things. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to add this and this and this. And then my brain went poop. I'm going to put this as SF for sinking fund tub. Uh, right now, uh, as I'm filming this video, I have, let me double check what it was. $700.88. Sixty-seven. The goal, of course, is to get to forty-one hundred. So I'll put this up here, just like a little reminder. Forty-one hundred. That's what I'm trying to get that at. My chicken scratch that you can't read. So forty-one hundred for the tub. I've got this much right now saved. Moving on. Uh, credit cards. Uh, credit cards. So we'll put, okay, we're just going to put credit card one and credit card two. Um, at the time that I'm filming this video, these were my balances left. Uh, credit card one, which is a smaller credit card, had $9,306.19. Thanks, interest. And then credit card two, the bigger one. Credit card two was one thousand five hundred seven hundred thirty-two dollars and seventeen lonely little cents. Bringing that to the grand total. Now I can put it in there. Twenty-five thousand thirty-nine. 2018. I was below 24 or below 25 at 24,000, but thanks to interest, I'm back up. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Okay, I know you shouldn't hate, but I hate that. So there's the June budget for 2018. My goal is to save $874.71 so I can put it towards the sinking fund for the top. Um, the whole amount that I'm planning on spending for the month is $2,327.31. Let's hopefully, that's hopefully what I'm going to do. And hopefully I don't have anything that pops up on me that I didn't plan for. Like I almost forgot about those car tags. They do come up once a year, so. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe. I'd love to have you stay. We've had some really good comments going on in a few of the past videos. Um, I have done a cash envelope system that I was talking about for the, um, the Go Fund here, <laughs> the cash envelopes. So if you're interested in that, I can list it up here for you. Um, I recommend you try the challenge, see if you like it, or tell me about your type of cash envelope or cash clip system if you're interested in sharing with the rest of us. We love to hear that stuff. I know I do. Uh, the other commenters seem to as well. I had one commenter leave tons of ideas that she's already done, so I loved that comment. It was great. Um, so thank you for that. If you happen to be watching this, thank you for leaving that comment. Catch you next time, guys. Bye!